the pitch in the last game wasn't as historic as we expected to be here. So, what do you make of the pitch for Mars? Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I think all about it, you know, uh, the school has been quite high uh, for the many, many years. Um, so, I think uh, the other day is pitch had a little bit of up and down movement, uh, but it's definitely uh, sort of uh, not the norm. So, I think it should be a, a good uh, pitch with some pace in it, and, uh, which would probably suit, suit our team. Still early in the uh, tournament, but uh, something on uh, Maxwell, uh, a couple of uh, you know slow starts by the batters. Is that a cause of concern? No, I think we've got some uh, world class players in, in the side. It's just uh, you know that's cricket. It's up and down. It's only two games in. Uh, we know with Maxi, he's going to win us a couple of games somewhere. Uh, whether it's uh, if he has a little slower start in the tournament, then we know that he's going to win games for us uh, later on in the tournament. It's not a case of uh, if, I think it's a case of uh, when that will happen. So, uh, yeah, still early stages. Uh, high octane T20 cricket, so, uh, you know, uh, things, your fortunes change pretty quickly. They change overnight. Uh, me? Uh, Bill, the last game uh, you saw with that police going off the rock as a 5 6 bounce with first couple of balls. So, was there something really mystic you got? Is he trying to do or uh, are you going to do that pitch? Yeah, well, listen, just, just first on on uh, Verity's been a, a number one equal performer for so long. You know, I think just that, that innings was a privilege to sit and watch. Um, I think just the way he sums up conditions, the way he sort of knows who's going to be bowling, what overs, and where he's going to score, um, you know, he hasn't been. One of, for, if not the best batter for, for a very long time. So it was really good to see with a, a two long, a two month um, no cricket. He just uh, hit the ground running and played a really important uh, knock for his side. Um, you know, I think only he'll know whether uh, his intensity or his intent is up. But I think uh, he's always been a good team man and making plays for the team. So you know, you can always trust trust he will be putting the team first. Uh, hi, I uh, saw an interesting uh, team selection last time around where you had the four frontline bowlers and back your two all rounders to sort of pitch in that way. Both uh, Aluj uh, and BK played at 11 that allowed you to get another impact. So, there's a matter of is that a conscious decision for to play at the Chinas for me uh, so as to sort of stack up your batting in games that can be back versus back up cases? You know, I think it's just looking at our, at our team makeup and what's best for us at our own venue. Um, I think having the two left handers in Anusha and Imani, uh, two very powerful hitters, uh, quality team men, um, and both made big impacts in, in, in the, the innings that they've played so far. So it's always nice to, to break up those right handed combos that we've got. Um, I always think Maxwell is like a left handed, that's left and right handed. So it's nice to have some, some left hand hitters. Um, yeah, just really strategy uh, for the home games and, um, and nice to have that extra power. I think what, what happens with just lengthening that batting, it just allows uh, those frontline batters to be more comfortable and, and confident in really going for their shots and playing, knowing that they've got quality backup. Um, you know the restrictions in South Africa, uh, it's had it's a lot of high scoring and close finishes. KKR has got a lot of very close finish in Kolkata. So don't know about our bowling, uh, how are you preparing for uh, different high tokens? So you said that last week. How is our team preparing to different high tokens here? Well, I think uh, I'm, I'm in charge of your, I, I look after the batting, but uh, you know, I, I can tell you, if you look at that bowling line, uh, you, know, you only have to look at the, the guys that are missing out to know how good the guys are that are playing at the moment. So, you know, quality uh, a bowling lineup, and I think you know, the the belief and the confidence that not only the senior players, captain and coach, showing those in those but in that bowling unit, um, you know, it's, it's contagious in terms of you know, we feel we, we're never out of the game, even if we don't get enough runs on the board. Uh, that bowling unit can definitely. Uh, pull us through games. So I think we've got all bases covered. Uh, there's pace, there's swing, there's skill. Uh, I can 
can see there's a few times our batsmen uh, just want flickers and spin bowling just uh, as a threat of, of that single tax. So it's, it's nice to have a nice more balanced side. Uh, Neil, you spoke briefly about Arun Shravat and Mohi Parvati. Rasing has traditionally been a sort of top heavy batting unit. To have two Indian youngsters who are batting in the positions in which they bat, what does it do for the for the team balance and for the approach? Well, I think the balance wise, we've obviously got Greeny, who's uh, all rounder with with, uh, with with Maxi. So you've got two voting options in your top five, let's call it. So it does allow you to play that, that extra uh, batsman and. Um, you know, I think it just, whenever you've got a slightly longer batting line, uh, yes, you don't want to take responsibility away from those top front line batters. Uh, you do say we, we top heavy there, but it does give them that assurance that you know, any slough is looking for guys to play their game, uh, show their personality, and really always take the positive option. And I think when you've got that insurance policy in the back as it is, with those guys coming in, uh, DK, uh, the old head, uh, you know, he's at 2 1 for the innings as well. That definitely breeds that, that, that confidence for guys to play their game and go out and, and do what the coaches are expecting them to do. Thank you.